Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a rig that has an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 and it is paired with the AMD Radeon RX 6600 which works just perfectly. However, I've been trying to sell it this rig off which no one has taken it yet. So I decided to do something with it which is to try out the 5600 with the RX 9070 XT and this is the model from Aorus which is the Elite model. So the RX 9070 XT is placed with my 5600 and the results quite interesting because many people said that it, it when you're gaming at 4k the CPU does not matter that much so indeed I was testing this graphics card the GPU on 4k settings and with the Ryzen 5 5600 because now from what I heard PC prices are going up the memory, the SSD and all that. So if you have an old product like the 5600, should you be getting a 9070 XT like this to pair in your rig so that you can play at let's say 4K resolution. Now 4K resolution is the one that has lesser impact or more like less uh, see where CPU has less influence on while the lower resolution the CPU has more influence on meaning that if you are aiming for a higher frame rate, yes, the CPU will count more when it comes to the lower resolution, higher resolution at 4K, it's more GPU load and less CPU load. And therefore, many people are thinking that if you use an old CPU or weaker CPU, you can pair with any GPU and it'll work. So now this video will show you the story. However, my benchmark as usual, it's with triple A titles. So I have eight titles that I'm going through of which this time I did not use COD Black Ops 6 because I feel lazy to update the BIOS for the TPM and all that. But as for the rest, it works fine. So let's get into the benchmarks and I'll share to you the findings. So let's begin with the first title, which is Shadow of the Tomb Raider where it went from 120 frames to 123 frames. Now to me, this one looks more like a runtime variance. So non issue for this really old title. And let's go on to the next title, which is Cyberpunk 2077, 64 to 61. Very minimal difference, could be runtime difference, but eh, it's just a 5% drop. No big deal for this title. It's really GPU intensive. So moving on, next title is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now this title saw it went from 96 to 89 frames on average. The percentage drop is 7%. Not that high, so but it is still a drop that is, I wouldn't say significant yet, but you do notice a drop. And then for Far Cry 6, the drop is even more, which is 127 to 114. And the percentage wise is 10%. Now this is why I like to use um, to bring in frames drop, average frames drop along with percentage because just relying on the percentage alone sometimes you don't get the magnitude of the, the the difference so moving on to the next title ghost recon breakpoint we saw the frame rate drop from 130 to 107 that's a 13 to 107 23 frames drop and now that is a lot this is basically a huge performance drop which is about 18 percent drop that's really really huge now moving on to the next three titles you will see the major drop coming from Assassin's Creed Mirage 104 to 81 Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered interestingly 104 to 82 very similar frames and drops Watch Dog Legion going from 96 to 75 basically for every game here the drop is like 20 plus frames but percentage wise is huge so what we are looking at is that if you are using a system like um, the 5600 and you use a 9070 XT like this, what happens is that the frame drop is so much on certain titles, even at 4K, that the 9070 XT performs less than a 9070 non-XT. Even though it is not at a 9060 XT level yet, it's still far ahead of that. It's behind the 9070 basically you lose the performance, it drops so much that, you know what, it is good time to just sell off the 5600 or whatever generation you are using, unless you are 
using an X3D CPU or you go for the 5000 series X3D CPU, that is a good pop-in upgrade which will match the 7000 series. Remember, I'm using the 7800 7, X3D as the one pushing the benchmark for this one at 4K. So if you are using something like a 7600, 7500F, you will get much better frame rate, closer to it. And from my experience, uh, 70, I use a 7700 a lot and also a 7900. Even they are non-X, the performance is pretty close to the 7800X3D in many cases, typically about 95 to 97% of the performance level. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.